Hey guys, Kev here, and welcome to another What's Hot episode. So this is for the week of August 23rd. So the gear drop is tomorrow, August 23rd at 3 p.m. Eastern at urbanedc.com. Link is down in the description. That does help the channel. Also gets you over there. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at the gear drop. We got a... a Lipton sweet tea here. And uh, this week, I do not have a package. So I didn't have a package come in. They did send me some stuff, but it didn't get here in time. So um, I do not have anything to unbox or show you. So this will be a little bit of a quicker video. Uh, and again, the link is down in the description and the comments. That'll take you over to the gear drop. It was at 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, unless you have early access. You can always go over there and peruse stuff um, anytime you like using those links. Anyway, um, I'm going to pull up the website. We're going to take a look. I saw a couple of really cool things when I just popped over there to take a look. I don't really know what's in the gear drop other than what I just saw on the main page here. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, so right off the bat, we have a new birch blades or birch tree blade works knife, which is very cool. Let me actually go into this one so we can get pricing based on model. And, um, as we all know, um, uh, birch tree blade works is very popular in my opinion from the bombshell. The Spiderco bombshell was a huge success, I think in the knife community. Maybe not in general. They only made 1,200 of them, which is a lot of knives. Um, but it was very talked about in the um, community and uh, just a very cool knife. I had one for a while. Love that knife. Really well done by Spider Code. It was one of their first, I think it was their first like uh, flash batch release or whatever. And then Birch Tree Blade Works also came out with um, another knife. Pretty shortly after that, that was made by Riot, and it was released under their own name. And I can't remember the damn name of that right now. It's escaping me. Um, but it's kind of similar in design to the one you're looking at right now. What was that damn thing called? I had one. Um, Birch Blades. Birch Tree Blades. Blade Works. Let me just see. This one's called the Euclid, but it was called something else. Come on. Got to come up. Got to come up. Uh, Michael Birch. Uh, seriously, I'm struggling right now. Um, the only ones in stock at Knife Center are uh, the Euclid. Um, just trying to find this damn thing. Uh Dude, I had one. How do I now remember the name? Secant. That's what it was. The Secant. So, um, sorry, I had to know. Uh, the Secant was a good one, but his knives tend to be a little bit thicker, a little bit boxy. Um, and uh, that one was very cool. It didn't last too long in my collection, but excellently well made and everything. So, um, yeah, but this is a new release from them, and uh, this is the Euclid, and it looks cool. It's got a flipper tab. Uh, it's got a belt satin. Definitely looks Riot made. It looks like they have a little bit of a bolster lock going on there. Now, there's no uh, stud or anything, so you're not going to be able to flick it or reverse flick it. You know, you're basically relying on that flipper tab. Knowing Riot, the detent's probably pretty solid, so you're not probably going to be able to flick it off that blade. $350, pretty average for a Riot knife. Have no issue with that. It comes in green canvas micarta. And as I suspected, they already sold out of the carbon fiber on the early release. This is one of the, um, the main issues with the early release is that it does make it a little difficult for people um, to get stuff. You know, it goes pretty fast. They don't have huge numbers of things to begin with. And then you add in early release, which is a benefit if you spend money with them or join their club. So I'm not saying that early release is a problem. I'm just saying if you're not in it, it can be a little frustrating to some people. They have one left in fat carbon at the time of filming this. 
And then in uh, the green canvas micarta, they have two left. So there's three of these Euclids left at Urban EDC right now. So uh, definitely get over there as quick as you can. Uh, when they drop, hopefully there'll still be some available. Um, the other one I saw that caught my eye immediately was the Vero Impulse. So they have the Impulse with Sagaha pattern on it. It looks to be lasered on. So it's only on one side and it's lasered on. It might have been done by Vero himself because um, he uh, he has excuse me a laser. It says here, nicknamed by the community as the cyber truck of knives. I have never heard that ever. So I find that interesting that they say that. Um, but hey, um, could be. I just have never heard of it. Great knife. Can't can't tell you enough how much the impulse is a fantastic knife. Um, so very well done. And then you add that flare with the cigar. I do wish it was on both sides. And uh, we have two versions already sold out and a DLC version left. And there's only one of them. So uh, there you go. Next. Um, it does make it hard to, to do these videos because, you know, there's just not much in stock by the time I even do it the night before, you know. Um, they also did some fulcrums lasered with the Sagaha pattern, which is pretty cool. Looks like they have a few in Stonewash. They have a few in DLC and Blackwash. And a few in Blackwash, so they're not listing any quantities left. That means there's probably still five to ten uh, at least, right? I think the countdown starts when there's five left. It might be ten. but um, So there's a decent number of these available if you're looking for a fulcrum. I can highly recommend the fulcrum. I have two of them, um, and they are fantastic pry bars. Probably the best pry bar on the market because you get – the really well integrated bit driver. You don't have anything annoying about it, like a bottle opener sticking out the side. Really love the fulcrum. And I think the price point is pretty good on that as well. We have this three leaf customs Urban EDC no luck charm in brass for $199. So it's a bit of a nuck. Uh, they should call it the no nuck charm, no luck nuck, I guess. Uh, very cool. I think that's a cool piece right there. And then this is one of the ones they sent me, um, but it hasn't come yet. And this is an Umbury haptic coin. So if you guys know, I'm a big haptic coin fan. I carry NJT hand power coins all of the time. Um, been rocking this mini mount in Mokutai for a while now. Um, and I got these slips from uh, Joe over at Lancelot Leather, which are great. Uh, but they have one from Umbury, who is like the OG Pretty sure he invented the haptic coin, uh, believe it or not. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, and they're all sold out except for bronze. Uh, doesn't have a quantity, so there are a few of these left. Uh, titanium would have been dope, uh, but maybe they had all those versions in the past, and this is just a bronze drop. That's possible as well. Due to limited availability, we're limiting this to one per customer. There you go. Uh, looks very cool. Can't wait to get my hands on one in the next couple of days. Then we have standard Vero engineering fulcrums. Nope, these are the same ones. My bad. Um, I just couldn't tell, I guess. Yeah. Then we have some Microtech UTX 70s, fully serrated. Uh, and, ooh, Northwoods Leather Works Vanish Slips. Can't be many of these. Um, guys, absolutely wonderful, wonderful uh, slips. I carry one pretty much every day in my pocket. This is the one for my uh, laid back Jack from Jack Wolf Knives, which I think would be in this drop unless I didn't see them though. So hang on. Uh, Northwoods Leatherworks slips for the Vanish, Kvist Vanish, great knife. Highly recommend the knife and the slip. Um, I don't see the Jack Wolf release, so it's possible that Urban EDC is no longer carrying Jack Wolf knives. They're not picking up runs anymore, um, So, or they just haven't dropped theirs yet, or they forgot to add it, one or the other. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, if you haven't picked up a laid-back Jack yet, I highly recommend it. They are, I believe, still all available, the Kira Knight. 
The purple one with DLC is basically sold out, but you may be able to find it at some places. And then all the other versions are available. Uh, but wonderful, wonderful slip joint. And then I have Troy slip for it, and it just completes the package. Um, so we have that. Uh, we have the Raylight Rook in aluminum for 69 bones, which is cool. Got some nice colors there. I believe that's a collaboration with Vosti, but I'm not positive. Uh, we have the slip. We have a Shire Post Mint, you lose, or I win, you lose decision coin in nickel. That's very cool. Ten bucks? Come on. Um, JW Knife and Tool Meridian Type S in Nitro V for $350. A Microtech Mini Troodon, or uh, isn't that called the uh, Choodon, for $329. And then you can sign up for their memberships. While I'm here, I will also plug uh, what we saw earlier there, which was the Devo designed barley. Um, so this is still up on pre-order right now. Um, and there is plain titanium, beautiful plain titanium, belt satin, uh, M390 steel. And then you have this Sagaha wave pattern on the blue titanium with belt satin. And then you have an acid washed m390 with the sagaha on blackened titanium how cool is that uh, all three versions available plain tie is 249 and the other two are 299 check them out one of my favorite designs that we've done uh, i love slip joints and having a finger choil on a slip joint just mm, chef's kiss to me but uh there you go guys that is the gear drop for Wednesday, 823. Again, I didn't get to handle any of these ahead of time. Uh, I'm going to see if I can try to get more of the items and get them a little sooner um, because I would love to handle more of them. I feel like you guys appreciate it when I can get my hands on stuff and really give you feedback on it. It's hard when I just see it. You know what I mean? Um, real quick, I'm going to go over there and just search Jack Wolf and see what's going on here. They have the last one. They do have the gunslinger on here. So either that was the last one they did with them, or they just have totally forgotten to add it on this drop. Um, they are all sold out. So I don't see why they wouldn't be still doing it. But hey, um, anyway, that's it for me, guys. Check the link in the description. Again, helps the channel. You know the spiel. Uh, but only if you feel like doing that. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more gear come in for the drops or do you prefer this where I just show you the uh, website and it's a little quicker, you know, 12 minutes instead of 25 or 30 because I'm doing a whole unboxing, you know, in the beginning or the end. I would appreciate that feedback and anything else you want to tell me. Subscribe to the channel. I could really uh, use your subscription. Um, you know, YouTube is dogging me a little bit lately, so I would appreciate the support. Boost me with some thumbs ups and comments and whatnot. Check out uh, True Crime Garage. If you don't like uh, true crime podcasts, then you won't know what I'm talking about. But if you do, True Crime Garage is where it's at. Creepy camper, baby. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you to Urban EC for being cool. And uh, I will catch you guys later.